bless my husband's heart. His dad had the brush hog hooked up to the skid loader the other day. Um, so I kindly asked him while he was at it to brush hog the, the weeds off so I could bring the mares back here. There's a lot of lush grass underneath, so we just want to try to get them on some grass. This will also help because uh, it's supposed to rain later this week, maybe. Brush hog management is key if you're wanting good grass. This got away and out of hand really bad this summer just because it's been so dry. And I can't do everything and neither can Jason or you know anybody for that matter. We kind of all kind of got to work together at times. So I'll go get the mares and bring them down and I think Keaton's gonna mow my yard for me so that'll help. He had practice first thing this morning and his first games tomorrow so Jason and I told him that the kids could have the day off today if they do some stuff around the house. These weeds are crazy. A lot of you guys ask what we do in our like downtime. These are the things we do in our downtime. Just maintenance and get things back running and fix fence. All the things that go on around a farm. Change oil, paperwork, laundry. Maybe you guys want to see that, I don't know. Definitely leave it in the comments what you do want to see. I hope it's not laundry my least favorite thing to do. Did you already water the calves? All right. These girls have a half a tote, so tomorrow I'll have to water them in the morning. So we're just taking the girls down to the open pasture this morning. They're happy now. drop and unswap hooking around this morning. Thanks for mowing. That bullet were a bit dirty the other day bringing her home. Nothing too exciting today, just a little bit of raking and bailing and get back into the groove of things. This is a second cut, so obviously it's a little bit smaller, but it's good quality. So we got some over there to do. The fourth cut alfalfa is growing quite nicely. So excited to be bailing that in, I don't know, 21 days or so. what that's doing. 
Jason did say there was a, a little bit of a pop up, but I wasn't anticipating actually anything. Do you hear it? It's sprinkling. I'm gonna go ahead and just, oh, yep, sprinkles. He's gonna just try to back in a certain amount because he doesn't have time to run it up to the other barn. This kind of, this is the showers we're having. Um, coming out of nowhere. It was really warm today though. It was 96 and had a lot of humidity, so. Whatever you want to do. You're gonna need help dragging it. We'll tarp it and it won't do anything. Leave it out, it'll pour and we'll get three inches tonight. Tarp. It's kind of been a fast past day. Fast paced day. Yeah, that's all we bailed. <laughs> Which we knew that. There wasn't going to be a lot. And uh, took a nap. Helped kids with their homework. All the stuff.
Hey, hey, from the hay barn. Um, actually, so we're gonna unload Jason or unload my truck from yesterday and put it 105 bales on his truck. I'll show you how we kind of do that here in a minute. Um, had lots of questions and I thought today would be awesome. Like I'm gonna be in the baler. I thought it would be fun to kind of go back in time and talk to you guys, um, share our story. We have a, so many, so many new subscribers and I welcome you to Azort Farms. So as you can tell, we do have two grabs. One on the forklift, one on this skid loader here. That's not how we always used to do it. We used to do it by a tractor. I'll show you a picture here. I've had to really dig guys for these pictures. I don't have very much video, if any, from the way we used to do things, just because, well, I just didn't think about it, to be honest, back then. Okay, so this is beautiful grass. Look how beautiful it is. She's so green. Jason started his hay business as an FFA project in 2007 as an SAE project with five acres just here at the house um, for his rope and ponies. He actually swapped out like 400 bales of hay for his first hay baler. Isn't that crazy? So over the years, he went through um, picking it up by hand to hay wagons, to then we got the accumulator as a wedding gift to each other. We got it in 2014. So as you can tell, that's the hay that was left in the baler, so we won't actually sell that. I will feed that to the cows. talking about stuff as we're doing it and throughout what we've done over the years we started the YouTube channel in well I started YouTube in 19 and then I really grew it start like made it into what it is over the last couple of years I quit my job in finance to help him do this full-time keeping help was kind of hard and I honestly needed a change I needed a break from everything within my own career and it really just timed out perfectly with what all ha happened in 2020 just the kids being home and me being home it was a very big transition in year we quit doing round bales as well and got the large square the Edco 7433 Edco and we also got that um, John Deere 6145M in 20 We sold the New Holland tractor that we had been running to get the 145. So every every time we've made a purchase, it's always been to step up our game, step up our hay business, make ours, our lives just a little bit easier. Obviously, we're not getting any younger. He just had a birthday. I'm going to have a birthday soon. And we ran the Coons, they're now Norton, um, tie grabbers and grappler system, accumulator system since 2014. It's something that we have benefited from for so many years. It has made our lives so much easier. Each one of these hay barns can hold right under 7,000. Is that it? That's all? That's all for today. I know, 105. Baby load. Seven grabs. That's how I like to, to know how many hay we have, right? Just, it's easier to say, well, you only have seven grabs versus 105. So we'll go deliver this. We'll take you with us and we'll be back home to bail some more.
home sweet home. Oh. Who's ready to bale some hay today? We've had a couple of last easy few, la 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 la, okay, look at talk. Um, the last couple of days have been relatively easy on the baling aspects just because it's second cut. We're find, finding our groove, um, getting back into things from being gone from farm progress. I also kind of have a busy week with the kids and so I didn't want to overload myself today. I tried not to overload myself today. Alfalfa is growing back wonderfully. Who's ready for some fourth cut there? So we're fighting a little bit of uh, Missouri humidity today. The hay is not going to bale. It's just a tad too wet. It's just a tad sticky uh, humidity wise. So Jason and I, I um, have a couple hours to kill before we go to the football game. So we are actually going to take just a little bit of time. We've got some maintenance repairs going on on this um, on the arena because we want to feed calves soon and we don't want to wait until the day we bring calves home to like kind of attack and weld some more. So that's the that's the goal. I'm just watering um, the calves here in the arena. Keaton's uh, show calf has got a butcher date next week, so that'll be one less I'm feeding. Bill, so I guess we'll fix projects, huh? Yes.